So, just a couple of things. I just want to know. I have a couple questions. Is it normal for uh, a group of people that call themselves Nazis in the United States, tiny, a very small group of people, uh, versus another group of people who uh, who also have um, violence and weapons and so forth, they clash. They, they've got flamethrowers, uh, homemade flamethrowers against each other and shields and, and, and they're smashing each other and, and hurt and, and hitting each other. And then you get a car going and plowing through a whole bunch of people and dying. One guy, I think one person died, other people injured and so forth. Is that normal? Just asking the question, is that something that we should just live with? Is that something that, that's just normal for us? Um, that, you know, this this just happened, and so, well, we got to get used to it now. Is, is this a normal way of life that we should be having? Um, is it normal for someone to, to write a paper on diversity and then get fired um, because uh, they, they want to promote additional inf uh, additional viewpoints. Think about that. This guy works at Google. He writes a paper about how Google needs more diversity and how um, it would be really good if certain things were done in order to make the company more diverse. And they fire him because he's, they said that he... Um, uh, stereotyped uh, the sexes, they stereotyped women. Uh, and then there, there's a statement, their response was that uh, we, we let him go because we want, to we want to provide a safe space where people can express their opinions. And they fired him because he expressed his opinion. And yet they fired him because they want to provide a, space, a safe space for people to express their opinions. Every single thing that this president does, there are a group of people that hate him with a fervor that you can't even imagine. And this is not a small group of people. They want to take him out. They want to take us out. Do you understand right now that we, the we, the minority, are occupying their territory in the United States. We're actually occupying their land as far as they're concerned. Or they would want us to go into the sea and perish. Just like the Palestinians would love to see the Jews be thrown into the Mediterranean Sea and perish. They would like to see us pushed to either side and perish right into the ocean. That would be perfectly fine with them. They are absolutely 100% going to get what they deserve. They're going to get what they, what they want. We are going to be gone. Donald Trump is going to be gone. They're going to have their way. They're going to be able to do everything that they want. And they're not going to have any children around to, to, to thwart them. All these childless leaders, like Angela Merkel and people in, in, in Great Britain and so forth, huh. all their children will be gone. And the ones who are childless, they don't care anyway. Good. Children are gone. A civil war has already started in this country. It's apparent. This country is not the United States of America, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, one nation, under God? 
Is that what this nation is? Is that what the United States is right now? Are we one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for everyone? Or are we the divided states of America, rotting from within to this nation's sudden destruction? Which one is it? It's a somber message tonight, my friends. I wish I didn't have to even be talking about this, but you know what? It's getting worse. I've never, ever seen images like this in my life. This is pure evil on both sides of that coin. No, this can't go on much longer, and we know that. Don't be afraid. God is not mocked. God is faithful. And if you think that these people are going to get away with it, don't be deceived. And God is not mocked on for, by these people. They're not. These, they're, you can do this all day long. And then ultimately, what happens is the sword of Damocles comes on you like a thief in the night. Amazing that, we, that we're able to actually witness this and see it devolve into the, the abyss, just the utter pit. However, I encourage you to keep watching these things and to lift your head up, to look up, because our redemption is so near. Hold fast. We can overcome. We absolutely can overcome. That stuff is so evil. It's so painful. It's so hurtful to watch the country that I've enjoyed living in for all these years devolve into this. However, we are only here temporarily. This is not our final destination. For Americans now who live in America, for those abroad, you have your own things too. But we're just passers-by. We have a higher calling and a new abode where Jesus has gone to prepare a place for us. And if it wasn't true, he wouldn't have told us those things. I hope these words are comforting here at the end. I hope you have a blessed evening. And this is my last message of the evening, so I'm going to bed. Good night.